Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous, darling. I am doing great. Make sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on all my social media, at Miss TP90. Make sure you turn those notifications on on the social media, as well as here on YouTube, so you know when I'm dropping new content. Thank you guys so much for checking out The Escape. Still kicking it, episode one review. I'm glad that y'all enjoyed it. Down below in the comment section, let's just talk about this episode. Number two, if you missed my Real Housewives of Atlanta, season number 10, episode number two, I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and check that out. And also, if you missed my latest vlogs, I'm gonna need y'all to check those out. I'm gonna put the links down below. And I would love to know who is your favorite 90s group. We're not gonna say your absolute numero uno um, favorite group. We're just gonna say like your top three to five 90s groups. I would love to know that post that down below in the comment section and let's go ahead and get it popping with this review this candy cane is meeting up with tan and tan, she had looked familiar i remember i saw her in the unsung but she used to be a part of the group but the manager didn't like her and was like um they need to go or i ain't signing y'all and they was like um girl ain't nobody checking for you otis and they gave her the boot but candy and her been besties ever since i was like oh okay then Candy ends up telling Tan that the group done made a company, put her name on it, but she doesn't feel right with the business aspect of the group because of what had happened was a long time ago, between the second and the third album, Tasha's husband, Rocky, was their manager. And she didn't feel like the business was handled properly and she basically just doesn't feel comfortable with business stuff with them just yet. And that's understandable. And they go a little bit deeper and Tasha was like, well, the manager wasn't the problem. It was the group in general. And I was like, you know what? That's true too though because because, you know, the manager is only playing off of y'all. But that was your boo-boo cakes, though. So, of course, he wanted to be on your side. Ooh, Tam was like, you know what? Tasha can sing now. Tasha can sing. But was her ego a little too much? I was like, boo -hoo. And, baby, it was a lot of shade on our live with Andy with Escape. I was like, oh, my God. And y'all about to go on tour? Like, I'm not dooming them before it even begins. But I feel like they are still super, super petty. And they are, like, 800 years old. There's, like, a lot of her there honey this whole episode i was like lord bless it we're at the rehearsal and tiny bless her heart she want everybody to kumbaya and she wants the band to leave and she's like all right everybody we just need to sit down and talk like anybody want to get stuff off their chest this is and he was like you know what i feel like everybody's ready but i'm not ready like y'all was doing a lot of stuff and i didn't know about it. Ooh, tasha was like what were we doing candy i was like oh shit oh, oh. i can see why they broke up in the first place they can't even sit down and have a conversation i like i said oh lord the tension honey it was thick it was thick and then they oh my goodness it was a tasha versus candy duel candy were you mad that i was singing most of the songs <laughs> candy was like girl bye ain't nobody coming to see you otis you set up your third album to get your solo deal you weren't gonna sit here and be the pips I wasn't gonna do that. Tasha couldn't recollect that. She was like, uh-uh, my lawyer didn't do I don't remember that. Tiny was like, uh, tip, uh, uh, wait, uh, I got the receipts. I remember that clearly. So the receipts, the receipts of Traces of My Lipstick, they were supposed to get $4 million, but um, Tasha didn't want to do promotion or something like that, so they ended up getting 800000 for the album itself because the management group and the record label didn't feel like they were going to recoup on their fundage. So they weren't going to give them all that money. I said, damn. Tamika was just sitting there just as mute. Tiny and Candy were like, uh, you're not going to say nothing? Tamika was like, look, I'm not in it. Candy was like, yes, you are in it. But I'm sitting there like, no, because the last time she got in it, she was trying to defend her sister and she was telling a bunch of lies. And uh, we just, just be quiet. Tamika, good job. Just shh. You got a track record of telling stories. Or it's just be quiet. That would be best. But then I'm sitting here looking at Tasha like, why didn't you say something? Like, you acting like you didn't know. You don't know nothing. Uh-uh. You acting like you don't know nothing about nothing of the deal that happened with Traces of My Lipstick. You you, did, you haven't addressed that. You, you just wanted to glaze over that? Oh, okay. Okay. Tamika and Tiny go on and leave. And um, Tasha, she wanted to talk to Candy privately. Candy and her blared eyes. I cannot do it. I mean, she wears everything. Like, you can tell when she happy. You can tell when she's sad. You can just tell that with Candy. She was like, okay. Tasha was finally like, girl, what's wrong with us? What happened? Like, if we're going to be a group, like, I need to figure out what happened so I can fix what's wrong. Candy was like, I, I, you know, how do you not see this? Like, I'm trying. And how do you not see this? 
said, when we was young, we both liked jelly sandwiches. But I would call my mama and say she likes Smuckers and I like Welch's. Like, it was too much. Oh, uh, then Tasha brings up Candy's brother Patrick and how he would be the peacemaker. And Patrick wouldn't want us to do this. And I'm sitting there looking at Tasha like, uh, ma'am. Tasha, can you say what you had did? Like, you really don't remember what happened to us? Like, you, you don't know? Like... Patrick would want you to remember what the hell had happened was and take responsibility for your actions. And Candy, your brother, would want you to take responsibility too. Like, both of y'all, come on. Yes, I agree. They are too damn old, but at the same time, it takes time. And I guess their vibe has never been, it's a vibe. They ain't never had no vibe. It's always been like a little weird. And she was older than Candy. Took that um, big sister role. And you can tell she is like that. But Candy, she's, you know, learning how to have her own voice. So it takes a while to get there. So it's not going to happen overnight. And I'm sitting here looking at Tasha like, girl, she ain't going to kumbaya and hug you overnight. Mm. Tasha, she was like, look, we can't force no vibe, but at least, you know, we can try to build on it. We can try. Candy was like, okay. Even with the hug, she was like, I can't get off me. <laughs> it was a Tasha and her husband versus a Candy and her husband, you know, talking about the situation. Ty was like, look, it's business at the end of the day, babe. Like, and I mean, do it for the fans if you don't do it for nothing else. Tasha husband was like, babe, we got to get this bag. Make it right. <laughs> Okay, so they're rehearsing, and baby, do you want to is my shit. That's, that's my jam. Tamika's ass, though. Lord, that booty fat. Tasha and Candy, um, they're meeting up so that they can get the set list ready for the BET Awards. I was like, you know what, baby steps, baby step. It worked out. It was civil. Look at God. And I remember uh, the BET Awards. Y'all know I was hyped over the BET Awards with Escape up there. And they did good. So I'm glad that they could come together to do that. See, y'all can do stuff. You can be civil and you can secure the bag. Secure the bag alert. And that's to all of you out there. If you got some beef with somebody, something happened, like you really got to figure out, is it worth it? Or if you have some hurt there, you got to squash that. You can't walk around with hurt and animosity towards people. You can't do that. I, mm, mm, you cannot, honey, I hate to say life is too short, but it, it really is if you think about it. If, especially if you're walking around with BS and pettiness all over you. It's too short because you taking off times, valuable times time in your life if you walk around with all these all this baggage and heavy burdens and you pissed at people and people walk around doing Michael Jackson spin moves and then worry about your ass okay so move forward squash stuff and keep it moving honey there is plenty of life to live and bags to be made honey we got to move forward we finally get a story of Tamika we've seen Candy and Tiny's living stuff now we seeing um Tamika and hopefully we get to see Tasha I think it's good we're able to see them as humans and not just escape okay Tamika Tamika's daughter, Ocean, got her a little John B. I said, oh, okay. Wow, management back in the day wanted Tamika to get an abortion so that the group could continue to be successful. But her sister said, hell no, to the no, 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 because she was the voice of the group at the time, and they kept the group together. And she did Love On My Mind while she was pregnant. That's one of my favorite videos that they did. And, well, that's one of my favorite songs. And it's just amazing how her sister looked out for her in that way. So I get it why Tamika looked out for her sister with, you know, all the rumors and stuff about the group breaking up. Not saying it's good that she did what she did, but I see why she did that. Naya is her other daughter and oh my god that is her daughter like they act just alike. She got a big old tall glass of water for her husband. Okay girl she loves oh, Hey Teddy go ahead. It's time for another rehearsal and it's a bust like mm -mm. the band don't know the song. Andrea the choreographer came over trying to help him again. They still don't know the dance moves. I'm sitting here like holla 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 yeah huh what was y'all doing still changing the choreography it's not candy this time it's tasha that don't want to do the moves i'm like y'all need to get it to get i don't really want to stay i don't what happened to said mo too we see tiny and zonique i love them together i think they're so cute it's time for the next rehearsal and they figure out that they sold out their detroit performance and they hype about that that gives them like a little second win and you know what i'm really glad that escape is coming back and i guess that they're seeing that wow people enjoy us people like us Yes, we love the music. Like, we just want to see y'all come back healthy, happy, doing y'all thing. That's it. And we want y'all to get over the drama. Like, I really hope that they really, really tap into that and figure out what the hell happened. Here comes Mama Joyce. I did not know Mama Joyce was such a part of Escape. I did not know that. But now, I mean, now we got to think about it. It's Mama Joyce. Of course she would be a part of it. They end up rehearsing for her for the BET Awards. And she was like, um, Candace, 
Mm. Um, uh, y'all just saying, we're not looking for y'all to dance and stuff. Leave that to somebody else to do all that sweating. Y'all need to just be saying it. She basically told them, y'all save your breath. We ain't got time for that. We really love y'all as escape just for the singing, for the selections. We don't need you to just, mm, the most we need y'all to do is do the breakdown from just kicking it and the do you want to say you do. Because I look back on some of their old videos and they wasn't breaking it down like that except for love on my mind. Oh, y'all getting a little old. We don't need to see all that. I'm just saying. I want to hear you saying that's about it that was the episode next week it's gonna get real good because they're actually gonna do the BT awards they're gonna get dressed for it and it's just gonna be messy again I'm excited for it I'm loving this still kicking it um but it's only four episodes so we only have two more left um uh, but hopefully they keep following them I hope I'm actually liking it more than Real Housewives of Atlanta but down below in the comment section I would love to know what did you think about episode number two let's talk about it thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it and I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye!